here at uh, a nursery here working on a 6715 John Deere and I think it lost a pinion bearing or something. He hit the brakes or put any load on it and it goes bang back here in the rear end. So I'm going to pull this operator station off of here and get into this Get thing. So let's yeah. pull them here. Pull your clutch club to spin. And somebody didn't put the keeper back in here, so it's gone. Just pop that out of there. Okay. Now. Put your pin back in here. Disconnect all the transmission control Bowden cables at the yokes and at the counter bracket. Disengage park lock Bowden cable. Disconnect steering hoses A and B. Disconnect the SUV Bowden cables. So I've got this step and this step already done. So here's all your well. Here's your park here's lock. Park lock cable right here. I need to pop it off and get it loose. Steering and brake lines right here. And these SCV, we got to get these off and get this line off right here. As you can see that, the pressure line coming into your, uh, this is your priority block right here in the center. Alright, so on these PTO cables, not PTO cables, Bowden cables for the remotes. Just take the lock nut off, unthread it from here. It'll thread on right here. Take the lock nut loose to 15 sixteenths and hold this. And once you get the lock nut backed all the way off, unscrew this and see, and that'll just pop out of there. Okay. Pull your steering line off. It's your steering pressure line. Pull your protective cap off here over your stepper motor. This is your hitch valve stepper motor. And somebody's got that plug broke. Unplug it. I'll have to take the trailer, the trailer light receptacle. Take the trailer light receptacle. Take these two bolts out and just take the center link, fold it down. Take these two bolts out and just take the whole thing and lay it over there. And I'm gonna have to take this. This is your load sense line right here, coming off your end cap. That's your load sense line. And it's not going to come through there without pulling that off. Okay, well that's no problem. And here's our main pressure line coming from from our pump coming into the center block, the priority block. We'll have to take it off. Okay. Okay, I better let go of the phone here and pick this cab the rest of the way up.
So, pull our stub shaft here, perma clutch. Let's see here. Uh, I think this is the power quad module. I know this is the creeper transmission right here. This is your range transmission. Our problem lies back in here. So, I'll just go to the gym. Yeah. 
dirty bastard. this thing was doing is it would go about 15 20 feet and it'd go you could hear it thump you know back here in the rear end somewhere it sounded like it was back here I wonder how our spider gears look because I can't really see those uh, I need to get this other side jacked up where I can roll it around and look at them spider gears guys I looked a little bit harder this time if you look back in there look at the rollers on that pinion bearing See how they're not spaced evenly? There's something wrong with that pinion bearing. We gotta get, uh... I think we're gonna be going this direction now. I think we're gonna pull all our transmission components out and get back to the pinion. Okay, well, got the power quad loose. Got the drive shaft here. Get that old spline back in there. Oh, we'll lift this power quad out of here. Here's our creeper transmission. Here's our range transmission. We're, we we got to get the range and the creeper off now. Here we are in the 6715. All right, so I know what we got going on. We got something going on with our pinion bearing. Um, we got to pull. We've got the perma clutch. Well, power quad module is what they call it. But your perma clutch, your uh, uh, let's go over here and look at that. This is your power quad module. This is your perma clutch right here on the front end of the tractor. This is going to be your power quad module right here. This is your creeper transmission. See the different color paint here. Somebody's already changed this creeper. The creepers are so low geared. What happens is is they'll they'll break the gears in there. Or it'll break the case. And I pulled you. You got to pull your mechanical front wheel drive clutch pack off the bottom of the range transmission. Pull it off the bottom of the range transmission so you can get. There's two bolts up inside here. That you got to pull out. Let me uh, show you up inside here. Basically, uh, we still got to get the shift rails out the side of the range transmission. This is your range transmission. You can see your shift detents here. Um, this pinion, I can tell you, there's something wrong with that. Something wrong back up in there. Uh, boy, sure. Yeah, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of up and down play in there. I think we lost a pinion bearing, is what happened. So. It's about 8.30 at night, and I've had enough, so come back Monday and finish tearing it the rest of the way apart and uh, um, show you what, uh, I guarantee it's got something to do with the pinion bearing, because if you look up in there, I don't know if you guys can see that pinion bearing, you see how the rollers are all touching each other? 
and then there's a big gap right there in the middle. There's something wrong there. That just can't be right. I guess we're going to find out. To, we'll find out Monday what the heck the deal is with it. And i got a mess to clean up here now and, and I pick all my tools up. So I probably won't be out of here till 9.30. So thanks for watching.